Hey you guys, Rena Wells here, and I'm going to be doing a precursor to Mer Mercury Retrograde, and just to see twins in separation, no communication, if you're being blocked, and we're gonna take a look at the energies with some brand new cards that I got. So stay tuned, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and we'll be right back. welcome back so if you are new to my channel welcome welcome please check things out i'm sure there's something for you here and my returning subscribers you know i always hold a strong intention for my followers um so that things always resonate i got new decks i'm like super excited guys i'm super excited we're gonna take a look because i got the before tarot and the after tarot and we're gonna take a look at recent past um present and near future and then we're going to pull some um chakra wisdom oracle cards that i got as well and we're going to get some sacred earth oracles i've just reinvested in the business things have been going amazingly well and uh, so i've just reinvested i've just got a new camera that i'm using so i hope you guys can notice the quality has changed now uh new laptop new cards everything so totally back guys totally back all right so what we're going to do is let's tap into spirit let's see what spirit says in regards to separation let's see where uh the divine masculine currently is in relation to the divine feminine and we're going to look at all recent past okay so we're going to start with the with the after tarot here i've already cleansed i've already gone through my cards i've already talked to them they all have their own voices they're like oh i'm so happy to be part of your family i'm like hee hee thanks I'm happy too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna first see where the Divine Masculine is at, okay guys? I kind of like doing readings this way a little better. I don't know, maybe comment down below guys. If you'd rather see the cards yourself, I like to shuffle on camera obviously, but um, yeah, I like to, I like this face-to-face -face interaction. I feel like I'm connecting more with you guys even though it's not live, but I am gonna be going to live soon. So, okay, spirit, let's bring the energies down for the collective for the divine masculine. Please clear my channel. All Watiko paranormal implants. Thank you. Clear divine right to source. Thank you, spirit. All right, guys. Let's take a look and see where the divine masculine currently is at, okay? Let's see what's going on. This is for those in separation, blocked, no communication, you're ghosted. And this is also for Mercury Retrograde, okay, guys? I know, I just actually, um, I have an amazing astrologer, if anybody wants an amazing astrologer. Um, I haven't asked for her permission to say anything about her business. She's amazing. She's, I met her in Mexico. She is an amazing reader. I had a, I had a session with her today and um, brought up a lot of stuff. So, um, where was I going? Spirit's like, Rena focus okay so we're gonna take a look at the divine masculine we're gonna see where he is currently in connection to the divine feminine spirit saying that's enough okay thank you they're saying let's take a look at the bottom for the first card divine masculines are coming into a place of acceptance okay this is root chakra all right oh what i'm getting here is they've realized you see how there's a person there okay you see how there is a individual cutting a piece of pie and there's like a spirit there i see like that like spirit and and the divine feminine behind the masculine here cutting a piece of pie here and realizing that i <laughs> i need to just basically accept that i i need to share myself authentically i need to basically cut into this ego and I'm willing to now cut into the pie it's almost like what I'm getting is you know when you sit there and you look at something so beautiful and you don't want to ruin it uh basically I see this person this masculine sitting here in his root chakra knowing that he's got this amazing pie which is like the divine feminine and realizing that he's built up you know, he's taking the time to create this pie. He's taking the time to create, you know, I'm going to get the recipe. I'm going to make this today. I'm going to put the effort. I'm going to put the work into this. And he's realizing that this was all illusion. And now he's got to cut this up and serve it and kind of eat, your, you know, make your bed and lay in it 
kind of kind of aspect and so spirit is like saying now he's got to cut into this taste what he's already created taste the illusions that he's already created so that he can come into a place of full acceptance that's his root chakra right now of what's happening okay Wow, let's see what's in correlation with the Divine Feminine, right guys? This is for Divine Feminine, Spirit. Where's the Divine Feminine? And they told me to pick the bottom. Thank you, Spirit. They told me to pick the bottom because that's the subconscious. And so they want you to see what, what's coming up from the subconscious right now. And this is what's coming up. They're learning to accept. Um, yeah, this is my Divine Feminine. <laughs> I'm on this twin flame journey. This is insanity. I need to accept this and I've got to break my ego down. So let's see what the Divine Feminine is in, where her subconscious patterns are coming up and what's happening there. Okay, let's take a look. What is going on with Divine Feminine? Please bring down the collective Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey. Thank you, Spirit, to Bridge Heaven and Earth. We work in all energies, guys. If it's if it's for the expansion of your soul, we work in all energies, no matter how dense it goes. All right, let's take a look here. This is Divine Feminine. What's coming up for Divine Feminine? And what's on the bottom there, guys? I can't see. Oh, of course course. You see that? Faith. So this is very, very interesting, what I'm getting here. And it makes complete sense because divine feminines are here in the crown chakra. Divine masculines, what's coming up is they're in the root chakra. Obviously, masculine feminine energies, right? She's learning, and we've got amethyst here, is what Spirit is showing me, so that's healing, right? There's a cup here, there's a world, it's ending cycles, uh, offering new offerings coming forward for the feminine, okay? Brand new things are opening for the feminine, <coughs> and the feminine, sorry guys, learning to speak her truth, okay, um, and is learning to have faith really in her guides and the messages that she's getting and in the unknown, and learning that she has to follow the unknown, and faith is her only thing right now. No one's going to understand this journey. Nobody quite understands it. People that are still uh, trying to rationalize relationships and compromise them and try to uh, logically understand them, um, it's going to be harder if you're in a sort of blame journey because you can't do that anymore. Divine feminines are really at a place of having faith in the unknown. You have to get into the unknown. You've got to trust what you know. You've got to trust where you're being guided. Even if it means that you need to walk away from your masculine, it means that you need to walk away from your masculine. And we sometimes fight as divine feminines and we know the faith. We know it's strong. We know we can feel that energy and we know. And then we're like, oh, but spirit is guiding me over here. And it's for a reason. And do I go? And spirit is like, yes. So divine feminines, what's coming up for you right now, trust it is what spirit really wants to say right now okay now this is all from the recent past is what we're looking at okay so this could definitely be coming right now up for the masculine and acceptance and in the root chakra in physical plane physical manifestations also um for the divine masculine and faith for the divine feminine now what I'm also getting here, thank you, Spirit. Spirit has shown me that there's actually a pull that's happening. So when Divine Feminines have faith, that energy comes into the one body and it brings in, because when she trusts, thank you, Spirit. Wow, this is the mirroring right here. This is perfect mirror. Spirit is bringing it through right now. So when there is uh, a faith, when you have faith and you trust in the unknown, you trust, you accept what is. Divine Masculines are then able to accept this connection. When you have doubt, right? When you have doubt, what happens is you don't have faith in the universe. And when you don't have faith in the universe, how can your masculine accept this connection? Wow. Very powerful, guys. Very powerful. Let's take a look and see. And this is all in the recent past. So this is what Spirit is showing me what's coming out from the subconscious right now. It's really filtering in now into the present. We're going to take a look at the present as well. But let's take a look right now and see what is happening in between the connections between the two. Spirit just wants me to shuffle right now. Thank you, Spirit. Let's just see what pops out. Um, they told me not to take the one that flipped because I was going to, and I don't know if it did. No, it didn't actually flip. So, oh my God, you guys, this is so beautiful. I can't make this up. The crown chakra came out. The, sorry, this was third eye, not crown chakra. Sorry, guys, these are new cards. Sorry. This is um, third eye. Sorry. <laughs> Faith in what she sees in her visions. This is crown chakra. Sorry, because they made it purple 
but it's not, right? This is, and they made this card gray, which is crown, which is a little confusing. Um, so I'm going by the colors. But this is the crown, and the connection that's happening between the two of them is destiny. Oh my God, guys, and look at this. We have the balance of twins right here. Oh my God, these cards are beautiful. I can't even. The feminine and the masculine, the light and the dark. And they're standing like the Hierophant. This reminds me of the Hierophant with two people standing in front of, you know, a, a, in front of God or a priest or, you know, a higher commitment. This is a higher level of commitment. This is like their spirit guides, you know, blessing them. This one's a little closed off here. But this was more of a stern, which I feel, and this is more of a receiving. So I feel like there has to be a balance there of, you know, logic, rationale, physical, spiritual, and to know that balance between the yin and yang. And look at these two. They're, they're like so into each other. They're just like whispering to each other. And there's this beautiful portal here. So that's the connection between the two. Okay. And that's in the recent past of what's been recognized. Wow. Let's take a look what's happening in the recent past for the map. Seriously, God, I can't make this up. I just took these, got these cards and the Empress is on the bottom. All right, let's take a look at the before tarot. I'm gonna make sure I got the right. These are the after tarot. Do you see? I'm gonna get confused with this, what the box is. Let's get the before tarot because this is the near past. So let's take a look at the before tarot. <clears throat> let's see, and what's on the bottom of this one? The Hierophant. <laughs> Can't make this up, guys. All right, what is going on here, Spirit? Recent past. Let's take a look for the masculine. What is going on in his mind, Spirit? In the recent past that's surfacing now into the present, that's feeding into the present. Let's take a look. What is going on in the masculine's mind in regards to this connection, please, Spirit? Wow. Well, first card out very quickly is the stable divine feminine, the queen of pentacles here, okay? She's stable, she's nurturing, she's a mother, okay? Now, the before card here is showing that the snake is offering her this pentacle and she's not taking it, okay? So there's resistance here, okay? She's just looking at it, she's not sure what to do with it, and she's not sure about... Um, the snake. It's like Eve wanting to take the apple. And it kind of looks like apples all around, but they're just roses, right? And it's like coming, she's observing this beautiful garden, and then the snake comes out and says, hey, do you want to take this? And I almost feel that that's the masculine coming forward. And I feel like he has fear coming forward to the feminine, right? I, I feel this acceptance. He's realizing like, damn, <laughs> I've only taken a little pot piece of pie out, and I feel like shit. Like her face looks kind of like, I don't know about this. You know, this is not feeling good. And this is acceptance of things in his life. And, you know, this in the recent past was a rejection. Something happened with the Divine Feminine. There was some type of rejection. She wasn't sure about taking this offer. Something happened that she, um, that it made him feel that he couldn't, um, Get, something wasn't accepted something this offer wasn't accepted and and how minute it is okay guys when i say an offer spirit is telling me because i bring up my own situation like my twin does not talk he does not talk in blatant terms he talks in images and music okay so basically he'll send me like a steamy song or something but basically that's how he talks very different than how i speak Anyways, that's besides the point. Spirit is saying this offer that your masculine gave you is not really an offer that you would think is an actual offer. So maybe go back and take a look because Spirit is bringing up that there are situations that are currently coming up for you guys that there was a form of, that he may have taken it as a form of rejection. And you may have thought that it was petty because the divine feminine and, the, and the, especially the queen of pentacles, she's a mother, she's nurturing, she's kind, but she's also very grounded and she doesn't take the bullshit. She'll say it, you know, she'll say it what it is. And so some Something happened there in regards to not being offered and so there was a rejection and then he built up his wall even more let's clarify that a little bit more around his thoughts can you tell us about his feelings in this situation then spirit those were his thoughts can you tell us his feelings thank you so his feelings oh. he wants four of wands with the divine feminine okay and this was in the recent past so 
he no now this is this is a little different because this is the before tarot okay let's take a look at the four of wands first he's also looking at all the work that needs to be done for this union okay they're just getting you know how much it is to plan a wedding right to build the foundation so they're bringing in the cards they're bringing in all the beautiful things that need to happen you know the flowers the food the you know um and the, so they're pl in the planning stages of this wedding but I feel that this was very overwhelming for the masculine um, because of part of this rejection in his mind and knowing in his feelings that's what he wants, but knowing that, oh my God, this is a damn a lot of work to be with my feminine. Now this feminine is sitting here with children, you know, and he sees her as this beautiful nurture, nurturing woman, kind, uh, takes care of, excuse me, takes care of her children. She's psychic. There's a bird that's coming here. Um, and this is a really beautiful card. And this is just really emphasizing what he wants with his feminine, how he sees her. Okay. And that's his feeling. He just feels like there's a lot of work and with the rejection. So he's battling that between his mind. Okay. All right. So those are the mind and the feelings connections. Let's see what's going on in the recent past for the divine feminine. Now, remember, guys, this is for in separation. OK, let's take a look at the mind here. Oh, my goodness. One flip. We're going to take it. We've got the queen of swords for the divine feminine, her thoughts. So this is about cutting out and gaining clarity. So you either cut him out. OK, uh, I feel like you did in a certain way, something cut in his thoughts. And that's exactly what I was getting with this offer from the snake, right? With the queen of pentacles, that something, you know, something was rejected and you may, you have to go back and maybe think about it because I don't feel reject. No, I'm not doing that. It's more of uh, there's subtleties along the way where the rejection was built up. Okay. So before the big get out of my face kind of thing, um, this queen of swords here, she has her sword down. So she's not, she, this was not really about being too brute and cutting out, but she wanted truth and she was open to, um, the sweetness that was coming in. It's a beautiful cherub angel and bringing this, bringing this crown to, to the, um, queen of swords. So this is just her coming and sitting on her throne, just, uh, gaining a lot of clarity of the connection, understand it, trying to understand it, wanting truth of the connection. And the truth of the connection was he was trying to give her, offer her something. Okay. But she wasn't full in her power at this point. Okay, in the recent past, she wasn't in her full power. And so she may have, she doesn't, she wasn't in her power of, you know, seeing the truth and cutting out the lies and, and reading through the energy. She was just really taken by this beautiful crown that was being given to her. And so that's why spirit was asking her, like she, she lost her faith in, in certain aspects and got caught up in the connection. And we all do that. You guys We're like, oh my God, this person's amazing. I would have never thought that I could ever feel this with somebody and you get clouded and that's what happened there and that's what's happened in her mind so let's take a look at the, her feelings here spirit for the divine feminine in the recent past what were her feelings here in regards to the masculine what okay we're gonna take that those two are flipped up we're gonna take the one oh see exactly what i was saying she was caught up in the whole illusion of it all the seven of cups and she's not and see how she's blinded here so in the recent past, you couldn't see the illusions of what was happening here. Okay. So even what he was offering her may not have been quite stable. It would have been, may not have been a very good offer either. And I, and I feel like he was testing it out. You know, the snake is not necessarily evil. It's filled with wisdom. So he knew about this connection. He already knew. So if you think your masculine doesn't really know, your masculine knows. All right. So yeah, so that's what's happened in the recent past here. She couldn't see it. Okay, so that's what's happened in, in the feelings. Yeah. Yeah. It's really what I have feeling in the recent past. Let's um, take a look at the present and being blocked and and um, 
Yeah, I'm just trying to feel it out what Spirit is saying. They want me to just do one more thing here. In the recent past, they want to talk about the blocking and the communication and why there's no communication. So we're just going to shuffle and just see what Spirit says about that. Okay, Spirit, so there's no communication, there's separation. Can you please show us in the recent past that's going to play into the present of what happened in regards to that? Okay, thank you. Both for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. We're going to pull first for Divine Masculine. Thank you. Okay, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to pull a few. A couple more for Divine Masculine. Two. Three. You're telling me that's enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've got, for the first one, it was the Wheel of Fortune. So we've got <coughs> the Sun and the Moon. Nothing really jumps out here at me, uh, with me, but the, um, there's kind of like a compass here in the middle, but I feel that's just normal with the wheel. So, so this is just new cycles. There was a new, uh, a new cycle had started between, uh, for the masculine. Okay. Uh, in, in, in around passion. Okay. And he was very hung about a decision here and about what he should be doing. So some, so this could be also with a karmic that may have come in or something's happened here. Now, this is like, he just got hung. Okay, because something passionate came into his life here. And there's like two birds here just squawking. So I feel like that's like the divine masculine, the divine feminine standing here. And something's happened. Like it's like he fell down and he's like, oh shit, like I fell. And now I have to like stay here and I've got to figure this out. Like I can't see the birds now. I can't see what's going on. My, my perspective is entirely changed. And it's changed because something rushed in and changed it. Something lustful, something sexual that changed the wheel, okay, that brought this in. It's a karmic cycle that had to come in. That's really what I'm feeling, guys. Let's clarify this karmic cycle. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands and the Hanged Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he decided to, ha to invest in this. This is the Seven of Pentacles. So he invested in something. <coughs> and this is before. He's not waiting. He's planting. He's like, okay, I'm going to invest. I'm going to actually do the hard work to actually plant these seeds here. I'm going to plant something in this new cycle that's very passionate. Something caught his eye. Okay? Something that didn't catch his eye. Something caught his root chakra. It's one of the sacral, maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All right. So let's take a look at the Divine Feminine here. And this is something to do with the block and the no communication. So he got distracted. Something passionate came in and pulled him away. He decided to invest in something else. And he got distracted from this, okay? And then because he was in his mind about this, the mind took over because we got the snake there and the pentacle that's coming out. And she's not sure if she should offer. So, you know, he wants, and, and it's a lot of work. This this is a lot of work, guys, okay? Um, this type of connection... Um, it's a lot of damn work. You guys know that. This healing journey is very intense. So he, because of the work and she's and feeling the rejection, he took the passion because it was it was easier, right? That's what happens. That's why people get involved in soulmate connections. It is easier. Right? All right. Let's to and there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Okay? Like if I could be with a soulmate, damn, yeah, fine. Let's do it. But the calling's too big for that. So here I am. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at the um, Divine Feminine and let's see on her response in regards to being blocked and separated here. <clears throat> okay, we've got quite a bit that's come out. I'm not going to take those actually. I take those ones and Spirit says we can do one more. So little, these are really slippery cards. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. <sighs> okay, so this is interesting. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> I don't know why I cough. I don't cough all day. I come online and do these readings and it's like, oh. so she's got the moon, the two of wands. Okay. And the two of swords and the two of swords. Okay. So what I'm getting here is she saw the shadows. There's an illumination here. Okay. This, this moon and sun are together. Okay. So it's not quite dark yet. So things are still illuminated. And here we have the crab coming out okay this is cancer um so and there's two dogs and wolves here so yeah the sun isn't quite out yet there's some illumination there's a path that's being shown so the divine feminine saw the path with the divine masculine and said yeah <clears throat> there is something here okay we have the two of wands her masculine is there standing behind watching, saying, hey can I come with you what are you doing I maybe look into the future and he's looking at her going yeah, you know what? I, I may contemplate that. I may move forward with you on that. 
But then again, something happened here, right? The shift happened in the recent past and she put her blindfold on. She didn't want to see it. She didn't want to believe the illusions because she wasn't quite sure. She already didn't have the clarity. She couldn't see things. She was so stuck in the love, guys. Oh, trust me. I was in like a five party situation. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't see it. You just feel this immense, like, and it's not romantic, right? It's just like, you just know them. And it's like, you can't help that. And so she, you feminines, you guys put on the mask, right? You put on the mask. So that's what's happened with the feminines. Um, when this happened, they saw the illumin, they, they were able to see the shadow stuff. They were able to recognize things. You didn't take this offer, whatever it was, right? But you were still stuck in the illusion of, of the intensity of the, of this connection that now, even though you saw it, you're still planning to move ahead with it. It didn't happen. You came at a crossroads and you put your blind, you put your blinders on. Okay. She's tying that around her eyes, right? All right. Let's clarify this a little bit. Spirit. Thank you. <clears throat> You're just going to give me the one. Yeah. So in the recent past, because of what's happened here, and he's passionately moved on somewhere else, and the Divine Feminine just didn't want to see it, Spirit is now asking you, gather all your tools together and manifest. Okay? It's left you with all these different tools. You have the tools, but you, it's not organized. So the Divine Feminine is sitting here in the recent fact, just all messed up, not sure how to manifest. Like, here's the cup, here's the sword, here's the wand. I mean, the monkey's got the damn pentacle, okay? <laughs> like, let's, let's just give this offer to the damn monkey, you know? It's like the snake's like, the she ain't gonna take them, give it to the monkey. Anyways, you know, so the snake is there too. I mean, things are just scattered all over the place here. So in the recent past, she, she spirits like, take the tools. I want you to manifest. I want you to become in your powerful co-creator self. Okay. Perfect. Spirit says to close this up before we go into the present. No. Okay. They're telling me to wait. I want to really use them. They're like, no, wait till the next. So let's take a look at the present. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so that was the recent past. Let's take a look at the present and then we're going to look at the near future as well. I love this deck. Let me guys, let me know, guys, if you're watching this, just hit the like button. It really helps circulate my videos and I really want to create a healing movement and help people as many people as I can and grow super big and just, you know, eventually be running events. I'm going to be running events next year. Um, a lot of things are changing. So, <clears throat> yeah, let's take a look at the present. My right, these are... This one is by, I don't know if you guys are interested, Florina Nativo before Tarot. This is the regular writer way. All right, we're just going to take a look at energies in the present of being blocked. Okay, spirit, <clears throat> what's going on with divine masculines about blocked, being ghosted, blocked, separation? Can you please bring down the blueprint? Thank you. What is going on with divine masculines here in regards to the feminine? Let's take a look what's going on in their mind their heart my gosh i shouldn't have used this cloth their actions in the present and their outcome thank you sir okay let's take a look here all right we're just going to shuffle we're not going to take the bottom we'll look at the bottom because it's interesting because the bottom is the queen of pentacles la 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 all right so presently what is going on with the divine masculine here four cards please spirit one Presently, what's going on with my masculine? Two, three, one more. And if you guys wanted to know about the karmic, if you have, if you're new to my channel and you didn't see, there's a recent video I just did yesterday or two days ago about um, the karmic is in there. Take a look at that too, because I feel it's the same kind of um, energies that I'm pulling. <clears throat> yeah, four cards. So. I just can't make this shit up. First card out is the justice. So he knows that he needs to make a decision now. Presently, he knows that he needs to make a just right, a just to make things right. So justice can be served to make it fair is what I'm getting. Okay. He needs to make it fair to bring the balance back into this connection. Okay. We've got the six of pentacles here, reciprocity, giving and, and receiving equally as true partners do. Okay. He needs to action this passion. He needs to make decisions around it. And remember the Knight of Wands was that's why he, he got lost in it, right? So this is, um, yeah, well, now you got to like fix it. 
right? So that he can hey move guys, ahead in the I'm future. doing this from my laptop because I'm doing the video to upload and this is my brand new camera and it didn't record the whole reading. It only did up to the present. So I'm going to call this part one. And unfortunately, I'm just going to put out there what I did get because I think it's really important. I think it's still meant to get out there. And then whatever happened, I guess it's not meant to go out. And um, I will do part two tomorrow. I will pick up from when this video ended. I'll reshuffle and we'll start again and I'll do part two. So I'm really sorry about that technology, but that's what happens. <laughs> and something happened and it's not even, I mean, the battery's still at 40%. So my apologies. I will do part two tomorrow and we'll pick up from the present. I'll, I'll reshuffle. We'll reintegrate it. We'll see what spirit wants to say again. And I'll charge the phone. I'll charge the camera, make sure it's hundred percent. I don't know. I don't think it's that, but we'll see. And my apologies, but, um, I hope you enjoyed the first part. We'll do, um, we'll, We'll do the present and into the near future. Maybe something has to happen tonight with some of you out there. And then maybe then something will, will come to fruition. And maybe that's why I didn't, couldn't go out and something shifted while I was doing the reading. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you.